Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He, fighting daily, oppresseth me. And again, looking forward to the latter half of the five-month-long hour of temptation, you could see David here as a type of those standing against Satan and his one-world system, which will start out as a one-world political system at the woe of the fifth trumpet, which will then be wounded to death, after which Satan will appear as the Antichrist at the woe of the sixth trumpet. And that's when it'll become a one-world religious system when the Babylon of the end times comes into being. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Because even though most of the world will be worshipping Satan during the sixth trumpet, those with the seal of God in their foreheads will know and understand that the true Christ won't return until the seventh trumpet. In God I will praise his word, in God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. Because beginning at the sixth trumpet, they'll have the mark of the beast in their foreheads, meaning the deception. Satan is Jesus' return. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Looking forward to when they'll betray parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. But it's what the Holy Spirit will say through those who are delivered up during that time that will cause many to repent whereby they can take part in the first resurrection when the true Christ returns at the seventh trumpet. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O God, and those who fail to repent before the seventh angel sounds will be counted as evil figs, meaning they'll have to wait until the thousand years are finished, having absorbed the discipline Christ will teach through the millennial priesthood and stand against Satan when he's released from the bottom pit to take part in the second resurrection in order to go into the eternity which is the third world age. Thou tellest my wonderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle, are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. And so it'll be during the sixth trumpet for those who remain faithful to the true Christ who won't return until the woe of the seventh trumpet, two and a half months after the woe of the sixth trumpet, when Satan appears in Jerusalem as the false Christ, the king of Babylon of the end times. And when the true Christ returns, he'll destroy Satan's role of Antichrist as well as his one world system. And that's when Satan himself will be locked up in the bottomless pit until the thousand years are finished. In God will I praise his word, in the Lord will I praise his word, in God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O God, I will render praises unto thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death, even the second death, because whosoever will believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ shall not perish in the lake of fire after the thousand years are finished but shall have everlasting life. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Ultimately in the eternity, having taken part in either the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet or the second resurrection after the thousand years are finished, having resurrected into eternal life, in other words, through the Lord Jesus Christ, being then able to go into the eternity, which is the third world age.